So here's one of my favorite hubs for my MacBook, for my iMac, even for my PC. It's by Anchor. It's under around $25, close to $25. It's got a ton of ports. It does have one small issue, which I'm gonna get into, so stay tuned for that. Let's go. All right, so if you've watched my channel before, you know I do a lot of stuff with MacBooks, iMacs, PCs, everything else. I buy a lot of accessories and then I review them. So definitely subscribe to my channel. It's gonna you know, help me out quite a bit to make more of these. In any case, this is a new one by, this is an Anchor Hub I picked up. It's around $25 only and uh, you know, it's all, it feels like it's all metal construction. It's built pretty good. You can see how the size of it here. I'm gonna have close-ups in a second to all this. So stay tuned for the close-ups and I'm gonna go through all the ports it has go through the connections, and I'm gonna run a test and show you kind of what you can expect. Now that was the one surprise to me is when I ran that test. So it does have one caveat, which you definitely wanna take check out. I mean, it was just a random test, but I mean, I always take those obviously pretty seriously just because it's the way I use it. But I've been using this besides that I go to, you know, go to the coffee shop or something, you throw this in and it works. It's been working really well for me. Anchor makes really good, you know, really good hubs and really good products. They make a lot of like battery backup stuff and various things like that. The box I'm gonna show you some close-ups of in a second, but it looks like this, and I'll show you close-ups in a second here of all this stuff. And what you get is you get the hub, you get a little carrying case with it. Um, you know, and again, at the end of the day, what you're expecting here is a, is a hub that's gonna do you know, what you need it to do, is just plug in your devices and have it work all the time. The one good thing about this one is it does have a USB-C data port, and that was the one issue I had, and I'm gonna show you here in a second. It does have a USB charging port, uh, type C as well and it does have a, a type C data port which is important um, and then it's got a bunch of other ports which we'll get into so stay tuned for the rest of this I don't want to keep dragging this out let's get into what it looks like and let's finish this up let's go all right so here's a look at the back of the box and again this is model a83467 and one USB-C hub and uh, Anchor makes really good equipment and the reason I wanted to review this is just because it is a USB-C data hub not just power and for a low cost. So what you get, you can basically get the box, you get this little carrying case. Here's the picture of the nice hub that you get. And then you get a user manual. Um, the hub works really well with Macs and Windows and PCs. So I tend to use a lot of Macintosh. My iMac, my MacBook Pro works really, really, really well. On this, you get two USB-A ports, one USB-C power delivery port up to 85 watts, one USB data port, five gigabits per second, one HDMI port, 4K at 30 hertz, one micro SD card slot, one standard SD card slot, Mac and Windows compatible, and the range for price is around 25 to 30 bucks out the door. And then really quickly going from left to right, that little circle is just a light, and then you have the USB type C, that's a data port, which is great, and then two USB type A ports, those are more standard ports for USB. On the flip side, you have an HDMI port, you have a standard SD card, a micro SD card, and then you have the Type-C power delivery. It's up to 100 watts, but it's really 85 watts. All right, now the cable that actually connects into your computer is USB-C. Take a look at it here. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to run some tests here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to run some tests on how fast this is. All right, so for the first test, I plugged in an SSD drive directly into my Mac. You can see it here. I don't have the hub in the way there. So I'm going to go ahead and do a speed test on this directly connected into the Mac first. So let's go do that. So the way I'm going to actually do the test or perform the test is I'm going to use Blackmagic, which is a program that's basically free. You can get it out there. You want to make sure that you actually go in and change the source drive to this SSD drive. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So let's go ahead and do that. This drive is particularly called the A data drive down here, so I'm going to select that first. Let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go ahead and do a test on it. So what do we get for the reads and the writes? This is the question. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this is without the hub in line. It's 457.3 and 507.4. So you get the numbers there. That's what it gets without the hub. Now let's go ahead and we'll attach the hub here in a second and see what it is. All right, so now I've connected the hub directly to my MacBook Pro and the SSD directly to the hub. So let's go ahead and do another speed test. So with this test now, I get 409 even on the writes, and let me see here on the reads, 419.4. So let's go ahead and take a look at the data. So here we are. With no hub, we get 457 writes, and we get 4, 507, I'm sorry, 507 reads. With the hub, we get 409 on the uh, writes, and we only get... 
419 on the read. So with the hub in line there, you do lose about 10% on the writes and about 17.34% on the reads. So if that's, you know, it, it, for the money, I can't complain, but you do have some overhead there. Check it out here. I'll have a link to this in my description of the video. I'm not sure why it's $29.99 today. I got it a while ago, a little while ago, for $25.99 or $24.99. Anyways, the price changes, so check back often. All right, thanks again for watching. Please subscribe if you can, and I just hope you guys like you know videos on this so you can go out and maybe purchase this. You know, everyone sees millions of these different hubs out there. If you go to Amazon, I'll have a link in the description to Amazon if you want to take, the, take a look at this. I do get a percentage, but um, almost nobody orders anyway, so if you don't, don't worry about it. Um, at the end of the day, though, I, I, I you know, highly recommend this just for, you know, the way that it feels in the hand. It's very, you know, robust. You can throw it in your bag. It's going to last a long time. Yes, yeah, so you do lose a little bit of speed on the connections that I've tested. And on some other hubs, like I've done some other ones before, like the Vava one and stuff, it didn't seem like you lost as much. But this is still pretty close. You still get pretty good throughput on SSD drives and everything else, especially through the USB port. I mean, it does have the USB-C port, and it is one of the cheapest ones you can get for that and with the data on it. And that's probably the one caveat to this whole thing to take with it is, you know, if you want to spend 25 bucks, you may not be able to get everything for the speed, you know, or everything for the cost and all that speed. But you're going to get about 80, 85 percent of it. So hopefully that's good enough. At the end of the day, if you guys subscribe again and help me out and grow my channel, um, we'll talk soon. I make two to three videos a week on all kinds of stuff like this. Post comments, let me know what you want to hear about, and I'll make them. Peace.